Hey guys, welcome again. Uh, today, uh, she is a fitness transformation coach. She is a motivational speaker. So, thanks, Shilpi, for joining in. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So, uh, guys, I've already posted the description. She was a housewife. She uh, ten years back, she had issues with hypertension, and you know, the doctor decided. Uh, I mean, advised her to uh, change her sedentary lifestyle, and you know, she went to. The gym, and that's when she decided she never came back, uh, or she never, you know, planned to uh, leave the fitness uh, regime. So she is a motivational speaker. I mean, her purpose, entire purpose of uh, uh, motivation. So her purpose of passion is to transform other women. So she believes that if she can do it, uh, there are few people who can do it. This and get into a transformation. So she is also a nutritional coach. She is a certified also a nutrition coach and you know. See, I mean, again, most of the people uh, I'm interviewing these days do not have time for surprises with respect to their age. So yeah, Shifty, uh, maybe you can. Yourself, your passion, you know, how and your current projects. Um, yeah, actually, it all started. You know, my fitness journey started from Hyderabad. Mm -hmm. Before that, I was in uh, Delhi, and I think uh, living a very, very comfortable, happy life. I was working with a buying agency as mm -hmm. a senior merchandiser, and uh, had a lovely family and friend circle and everything. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as they say that, you know, uh, life begins at the end of your comfort zone. So, <laughs> uh, so when we moved to Hyderabad, it was a total, you know, change for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was, um, you know, to, uh, I left my flourishing career to be with my family, to with, be with my husband. And uh, my son was very young at that time. You know, he was in class one. I didn't want to leave him and you know go out and work because that this was a new place for him as well. Hmm. So um, you know all this somehow sacrificing for the family, giving up my career took a toll on definitely, you know. Right. And without me knowing, I was just going into depression. So you know my routine was cooking, mm -hmm. grocery shopping, okay. watching TV, mm -hmm. and. Uh, eating, binging on chocolates. You know, you will not believe I used to have three dairy milks in one day. You know, wow. food was something I used to find comfort in. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you lead that kind of a lifestyle, then no prizes for guessing that it's going to take a toll on your health. <laughs> right. So what it resulted in was uh, frequent headaches to start with. And even going out for a movie, Mm -hmm. or a shopping with my family was a big, big issue. Okay. Because the moment I used to go out, that was a kind of an exertion for me. And I used to come back with a severe migraine and headache. Mm -hmm. So uh, one fine day, there was a celebration in my family. Celebration was because that weekend I was feeling fine. <laughs> and we could go out. So okay. we, we went to see a movie. And when we came back, uh, you know, I felt very unwell and I felt like just throwing out and I just, you know, I just thought I will rest for some time. That's all mm -hmm. I remember. After that, I was just opening my eyes and closing my eyes and sleeping and waking up. And every time the scenes behind, you know, besides my bed would change. Sometimes I would see a doctor standing and my husband was there, sometimes neighbors, but I just couldn't, you know, come up, get up and speak something. I would again sleep, probably some sedatives were given to me. And finally, when I got up and I, you know, I sat down, my husband said, it's the fifth day from the day we came back from the movie. Oh, that, it was that bad. So I thought yeah. when you went to the tension, it was just uh, a normal high, high BP. <laughs> No, 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 no. It went to another level. So till now, nobody has told me what my blood pressure was that day. So, uh, yeah, so fine, you know, and I asked, where is my son? You know, he was very young in class two or three. So he was mm -hmm. taken care of by my, by my neighbors because my husband had to look after me. I was in a very, very bad shape. 
so okay. i said fine you know what 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 is this all sacrifice for for my family you know i am doing myself my family and my health you know so it's it's not that they don't want my time they want my quality time right if i am happy i am he- healthy they are also happy so that was a turning point a 360 degree turn in my life you know i said nothing doing so i i went and i just started with a brisk walk and a healthy eating that's it and at that time i had nothing in mind that i would be a trainer i would become what nothing it was just that i have to change myself for my family and live healthy that's all was on my mind so that's how you know with brisk walk it started and then going to gym and within 3 months i realized that yeah this is it that's what i want <laughs> so there i shed a few kgs mm-hmm. and then i joined uh, aerobics classes run by sunita sharma mm-hmm. and there initially uh, i was a member with her and uh, and started as a backup because she used to run two to three batches mm-hmm. and uh, i was trying to back uh, give her a backup because you know sometimes she was not available she is not well she has some issues at home Okay. and then from there it from just being a backup my trainer's journey started from there hmm. so mm-hmm. i uh, started training people there started training women then i did my certification my a certification my posture and alignment specialization uh, nutrition and then uh, after that i was not even satisfied with that <laughs> i had to go further so i Uh, started learning martial arts well wow, okay so it's been more than a year now that i've been into it and okay. i will take that forward and i started my own company called strong and fit mm-hmm. and that i am going to corporate schools colleges and my main motive is to educate women educate people about the benefits of fitness and tell them that you know don't kill yourself for your family you know look after your family well but do something for yourself because it's not going to help if you are happy only then you will give you give happiness to others right. so that's my journey in a nutshell okay so uh, can you talk more about the uh, posture uh, training i mean why you felt it was important and you know why is it important for everybody all of us yes it is because you know uh, posture and alignment you know if that is correct in your fitness in in your workouts you know you prevent injuries right so initially uh, there's a lot of science behind exercise you know it's uh, that's what i learned from my certifications that it's mm-hmm. just not you know uh, you just don't have to just start with building muscles or you know very hard cardio and the burning calories it has to start with correct postures and alignment so i would give you a small example that squatting you know squatting is a very basic exercise okay so when you take it forward right when you start squatting with heavy load mm-hmm. then your posture and alignment comes into picture so you can go till a a point but not further if your posture and alignment is not correct and uh, i think uh, that's that's very very important at least for me and uh, that's how it is cool we have some compliments from uh, sunita sharma she is yeah. <laughs> yeah that's where my i began my journey from and i have always told her i have started my own company and i'm learning a lot of other things i'm going you know i'm growing in my life but i will always be there you know that is my roots and i'm quite old fashioned you know i still love wearing sarees no matter how many dresses are there and i still i'll be with them no matter where i go okay so can can you tell which we are displaying here sorry can you tell something about the picture where you are lifting the weights oh yeah <laughs> that was a photo shoot i did uh, because uh, i was going as a motivational speaker in lot of corporates and uh, man that was that's a, a magic of the photo shoot i look good <laughs> 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 and that's a squat okay that's a sumo squat that i'm doing okay okay 
So going more technical, you're working on your inner thigh muscles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's weighted. Oh. So I'm lifting, I think, 10 to 15 kgs. Don't know right now. Don't remember. OK. So yeah, we have another picture of yours. Uh, yeah. yeah. When you're with family, or this was also a photo shoot? No, no, no. This was just a, a kind of an outing with a friend. And uh, that's how we clicked. Uh, and uh, you know what? Using this picture, I just want to say that uh, women go for strength training. It will not bulk you up. OK, you will look very fine and feminine and you will look pretty. You will not look like a man. OK, go for strength training only when you take, you know, those anabolics and all. Probably uh, that's a different story. But if you just go for strength training, probably you will look much, much better. Yeah, so Sunita is giving a warning to me. She's saying that she can lift a human being too. So <laughs> she's very <laughs> yeah, you know, that is another, uh, I, I think I miss saying that, that in between I also started lifting very heavy and I went to CrossFit mm -hmm. and uh, probably uh, that was also a great, great transformation in my fitness journey. So I did deadlifts with 85 kg and uh, bench press and all that. So it's, it's been, you know, I, if I look back, uh, it's unbelievable. You know, from that day, uh, I was almost unconscious for five days mm -hmm. till today. It's it's a it's a journey that I can't believe myself. <laughs> so more compliments from Sarita to be uh, more strongest. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. OK, so all set ready for rapid fire questions? Should oh, we? yes. <laughs> So, uh, friends, I'm, I'm sure you have a lot of fan following. So, friends, feel free to you know pitch in some questions. You the audio is gone. One minute. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you too now. I think there was a connection problem in between. Yeah, tell me. Okay. So, first question. So, any random stranger you made an impact? I mean, who made an impact in your life? Who? Sorry. Somebody, any random stranger who made an impact in your life? Random stranger. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, yes. I went to Mumbai uh, for a fitness competition, for a weightlifting competition. Sometime back. And, uh, you know, um, that time I was not very much exposed to the fitness world. Uh, yeah. I was still learning. And uh, I, you know, I saw a young girl there and I was talking to her. She was also a part of the competition. And as we were just practicing and warming up and this and uh, uh, she just, you know, straight away, she was lifting 100 kgs. So okay. I, I started talking to her and then, you know, she was from a very, very, uh, you know, uh, she was not, she did not come from a very well-to-do family and uh, how, uh, you know, she was interested in fitness. Mm -hmm. And uh, although she had to earn for her family and fitness is, you know, is a very expensive uh, sport. You have to take care of nutrition and all and uh, take care of your proteins and your workouts. You have to, but still, you know, she did her uh, part-time job, earned money and came in this and was also, was also supporting her family and she was really, really good. So I think that girl really made impact, a great impact in my life that day. Okay, that, that's a good uh, story to hear. Um, what period uh, of history do you like was best was best in fashion and also best in dance best in fashion and dance hmm. what uh, period of history so concert time you have retro and all that right so uh, fashion and dance 
a fashion and dance. See, I have two left foot, so I can't dance at all. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, I, I love uh, the retro, definitely. Both in fashion and and the dancing. There's, there's no nothing to beat that. Yeah, uh, no wonder, you know, for every, you know, dance uh, theme, you know, first option that goes is like retro or Bollywood. So, mm -hmm. okay. True. So, yeah, please go ahead. You were saying something. No, no, I was saying that even in our, uh, we take aerobics classes as well. So there's some kind of a dance in that. So we are, we are very used to those beats, dancing with the beats. <laughs> Good one. So when the FEM team meets, you know, what is it like? And most of the pictures have gone through your profile. It's like, you know, uh, why should boys have all the fun? You know, that sort of uh, <laughs> pictures are given to all girls. And, you know, so what what do you guys do when you meet? So other team members. But when you guys meet, what, what is it like? It is, uh, it's a team full of energy. We have a blast, you know, when we meet. And you will not believe, Ravi, that everybody is so knowledgeable and so good in their own field. Everybody mm -hmm. an expert. You know, we have we have somebody good in Zumba. We had some. We have somebody you know good with strength training. We have somebody good with calisthenics, and uh, very very humble people. And out there to teach each teach each other. So when we meet, you know, we learn from each other a lot. And mostly it's also about discussing clients. Mm -hmm. And uh, the one very good thing about the team is that uh, no matter uh, if three trainers are taking one batch, mm -hmm. right? So we all are aware of each and every client. And it's been communicated very, very nicely with the, among all the trainers. And also what the client has spoken to one trainer is also known by everybody else. So it's very, very good coordinated team. And mm -hmm. uh, I think we have a lot of fun, a lot of blast. And we don't know, always talk about fitness. We go out, we eat. So, and we have just one man <laughs> in the yeah. team. Was that. There is always, you know, one man, you know, bichara, you know, <laughs> Yeah, poor guy, he has no option. <laughs> yeah, <is> that your... <laughs> so, okay, can you name your team members, just, just the first name and one quality they have and which is not related to fitness, which is not related to work, but one quality. So, one name, the first name and one word which describes them. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me start with Sarika. Mm. Uh, honest to the core. Okay. Okay. Sunita, the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Prasanna, helpful. Mm -hmm. Vanya, fun loving, the dancer. Tarshia, ready to go. <laughs> she can do anything in this world. So, okay. Harsha, Ever, ever smiling. So that's my team. That's our team. I would not miss anyone. I guess Harsha is the guy you're talking about who has no other option but to smile. No, no, that's Prasanna. Okay, okay, that's Prasanna. Okay. Good. So next question, which which part of the culture is best? I mean, aapke jo culture mein, what do you feel is the best in the culture and what do you feel is the least what that you're proud of? In where I belong to? Yeah, where you belong to or your culture, which you uh, practice. Not at work, you know, at home. So I think it's it's being, you know, being together, you know, uh, communicating and, uh, uh, you know, sharing. So I think that is the best thing. So with friends, with family. So we are very, very connected with each other. So I think that is the best thing. Cool. One thing that you missed in your 20s, when you look back, in the 20s, mein ye miss kiya tha. what is that one thing? Oh, I wish somebody would have done my career counseling and I would have taken it this then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I would have beaten that girl who lifted 100 kgs. <laughs> I would have been a power lifter, definitely. So, but no regrets, I, even if I started late, 
that's fine okay so how was shilpi at school chote bachpan mein at school masti vasti weird things things which your parents mm-hmm. were not aware of still not aware yeah. of <laughs> see at our times there was no such thing you know i think these kids are having a blast now we used to be used to just go to school and study and come back and you know there was no gadgets around there was no phones right so we used to study but uh, yeah there were extra curricular activities that you will not believe i was not a part of any sport in school i was not a very sporty girl so i was i was just study and participate in some dance competitions or something you know a kind of a group dance somewhere in between but yes i was focused you know i was i was focused with my studies and all that but uh, i don't think we had that privilege you know or kind of that freedom the children that have now to do things you know yeah, or our yeah. parents would not do it contrary <laughs> to honestly you know, that time was a period when you know people had time to do weird things because there were no gadgets and all that uh, you know unlike now yahan pe bahar matlab jaate hi kam hai so you know that that's mm-hmm. my uh, observation but yeah things you know differ from person to person but even so like yeah it rained in hyderabad today so yes. we would have if there were a rain we would have made those you know uh, boards out of paper and put in the uh, water so i think people uh, children of today will find that weird so you can say that that was the weird thing that we did <laughs> i i heard girls who were not into sports during their school days always had this passion of uh, putting flowers in their books and drying it so how many flowers have you received and kitne flowers apne book mein laga ke dry kiya hua hai bilkul bhi nahi i had a we had a lovely garden at our uh, place uh, mm-hmm. and we were not allowed to you know pluck any flower my father would break my hand because <laughs> he was the gardener <laughs> so i never did anything like that no mm-hmm. okay so what does the gym matlab uh, what does that gym offer you that you cannot resist hi <laughs> <laughs> so uh, i think heavy lifting gives me a high mm-hmm. and i just don't go to the gym and work out and come i set gift targets to myself okay so uh you know some time back my target was to do a good deadlift heavy lifting mm-hmm. then my target was to achieve you know go for martial arts then my target was to do a headstand my target was to do achieve a pull up to do a to push ups and uh, you know so i keep giving myself targets and keep achieving it and whenever i set whenever i set a target for myself i don't just look at the you know the highest level of it i set small goals you know i divided into sections hmm. saying that okay fine if i have to go for a pull up let me first learn to hang okay and then i have to just shrug my shoulders as a second step and then go forward 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 so i just don't look at the last step at at once you know and i think that's worked for me not only in fitness in life also so giving small goals so for me going to gym is working on my goal so it's uh, not boring for me at all it's not monotonous for me at all and uh, the day i i miss my workout uh, you know my family knows because i get very jittery <laughs> so they say okay why don't you do a few push ups and then we can talk <laughs> So, but is it totally possible that all the seasons is the same? Like you know, कल तक weather एक you know ऐसा था आज मौसम you know खराब है that laziness of getting getting up and going to the gym every day does it change based on weather conditions? Okay, this weather inspires me to work outdoors. <laughs> In this kind of weather, I, I would go for a run. <laughs> so i would go i think i would go for a 5k 10k run it's lovely weather why not so i will use the best take the best out of this weather cool who who is the biggest motivator for you in life 
a uh, lot of people actually hmm. you know uh, my family is my biggest motivator especially my husband he is like you know he is given me the freedom uh, which will you, you will not i mean i can just do anything just anything go anywhere do anything in this life he is just behind me so even if any if a day if there's some days in my life that i would feel not motivated or i feel low you know he is there standing by me and just pushing me so i think my family my husband and my son they are my biggest support life and biggest motivators cool so uh, how do you juggle between uh, your you know between different hats wearing different hats as a mom and you know uh, a trainer wife so how do you do that yeah i think it's much easier than what i was doing before being only a housewife okay. so i made a mess of my life then so when you are happy i think you can do 10 things together so it's it's all in the mind right so you know if something some you complete a task in 2 hours just scribbling mm-hmm. about it but you are happy you can complete the same task in half an hour so okay. that's what i believe so you have to you know give your life complete so it's it's just fun you know to be a trainer it's fun to be a mom it's fun to be a wife because i'm happy i'm contented with my life i'm living my life to the fullest so that happiness brings everything you know makes everything work and so, exactly that's what i tell women you know chose <laughs> wear wear more than one hat don't be don't just be a housewife <laughs> it will kill you <laughs> cool so the next question is you know when, when you do these programs um, as trainers as as a team so you know most of these programs are oriented towards making sure the uh, the audience or the people who are participating are really enjoying uh, the event and the show but there are some shows where both the parties really enjoy doing it like ek ek to karte hain because they wanted it you know it was an obligation it was a program which we have taken up and one event that is like too good both the parties really enjoy it you mean the clients as well as the trainer hmm? you mean the clients as as well as the trainers enjoying it right yeah, yeah. okay so i think when whenever we take that um, you know the dance sessions in aerobics mm. so i think unless and until the trainer enjoys it the clients will not and why aerobics anything you know you you have to enjoy it yourself you have to believe it in yourself you know only then the other person will enjoy it it comes out so you will feel it immediately in the, in the energy of the class mm. that if you are not enjoying anything whether it's a dance move a zumba a aerobics or any strength training workout class unless and until you are enjoying it the other person will not enjoy it and it will just come out right in front of your eyes so i think every everything both parties have to enjoy otherwise it will not work so uh, any success stories you know you you've been doing a lot of motivational speaking for you know women encouraging women to transform either in terms of fitness or you know it other way around so any any success stories where you know uh, one woman got you know, really transformed yeah be- so i i have my i have my clients uh, abroad i have my clients here in india and uh, not one but a lot of people have you know uh, written messages to me that uh, you know they have really benefit benefited from the workouts from the nutrition guidance because my approach in even guiding for nutrition is very different so i don't give them a big diet charts you know in the beginning which are difficult to follow and the person will just collapse okay so i just guide them uh, step by step i say okay just cut down on your sugar cut down on your you know uh, fried thing just just work on just two steps okay that's your that's your uh, you know time next two three weeks once you achieve it we'll go further so uh, i think this really works and this this thing has been very very well accepted and has benefited many clients so there's been a lot of matches messages not one you know that uh, over the years that uh, uh, you know uh, they have said and that they really benefited because you know initially it's that 
when you don't lose weight, you get jittery about it. You take a fitness plan. So I always tell them that go for a, a lifestyle change. Because if you try and reduce a few kgs, you know, just for a marriage or getting into some dress, it will not work, right? So I make them always ask them to be patient. And although initially they are jittery, but eventually they know that that is the right approach. So that's my experiences with the clients here and also had experiences with the corporates, wherein I've got some amazing feedback and uh, some, some things which are basics for us were kind of a news for them, you know, about fitness. And um, I was very surprised and that really motivates me further to take sessions, you know, go to all these places. But the only thing is <laughs> that when you go to all these corporates, you're, you're breaking up. Um, yeah. Can you hear me? No? Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. So when you go to all these corporates uh, for these sessions, is that uh, you have to give a, a small demo before you go for you know the bigger sessions. True. And the people who judge you there, uh, who see whether you can, you are capable of conducting a session, are uh you know he he is a technology head he's he's seen to operations you know he's he's doing something in that office but doesn't do anything about fitness right so uh that's really a pity you know those people come and sit and judge you so if you go for a master chef competition and you know i think i expect chefs to be to judge me right not somebody else to judge me so at least you have to be from that field and sometimes it becomes very, very difficult, you know, to explain things to them. And, uh, uh, but yeah, this is making me even more determined that they need guidance. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, uh, Dr. Anshu Arora. Uh, she was an awesome coach. Uh, would want her to give some tips to keep healthy, uh, good health during lockdown. Yes, so uh, so the gyms are closed definitely, and here's where the calisthenic training comes into picture, mm -hmm. wherein you can use your own body weight and work out, right? Okay. So there are a lot of things that you can do with it uh, with your own body weight. You don't need any equipment. That is one thing. And besides that, you get very very simple. You know, you can use basics. You can to use two water bottles, right? You have a five kg rice bag at home. Use it. So hmm. there are a lot of things that you can do, and but you need a trainer to guide you definitely initially. <laughs> yeah. So uh, as I always say, that form, posture, and alignment, you know, should not go wrong. So there are lots and lots of things that you can do at home. You don't need a gym at all, you know, and you need to eat healthy, take and of course no need to say that everybody is neat, you know, the non-activity, non-exercise activity is increased already for all women in this lockdown and uh, yeah so if you just do a few basic strengthening calisthenic workouts and pay attention to your nutrition i think you will do great yeah talking about is it okay having four mangoes in a day just for one or two months having four mangoes in a day in a day yeah. so what is your goal weight gain or weight loss <laughs> Temporary gain, temporary gain and you know uh, have a target to reduce that in June, July. Sorry, I, I missed that uh, some problem with the audio. Sorry. Yeah, I think just temporary gain, you know, so that I don't miss out on season mm -hmm. and and then yeah, put efforts after the season goes back. <laughs> yeah, see, it depends how much you love mangoes. I'm a mango lover myself. So if I want to have four mangoes in a day, I know how to balance my calories here and there. <laughs> so actually, it depends, you know, what your goal is. Yeah. So we have a question from Dr. Nunalni. She's saying, uh, okay, all success, uh, Shilpa, uh, Shilpi, uh, tell us about some difficult situations and how did you deal with it? Yes, uh, see, uh, not only did I deal with my hypertension in the beginning, okay, and you can imagine my journey, right? So somebody who could not even go to watch a movie, right, or could not go for shopping, mm -hmm. coming here was a big, big, big struggle, okay? 
so i had to you know get that self motivation my family stood by me and it was not one i faced many many difficult situations so uh, and lately also you know for last few years i've been facing some kind of problem i've been fighting that as well but i'm not giving up on my workout so mm. uh, so there are a lot of uh, health problems that i was facing since the beginning in between uh, but what i've been pulling me off is my you know my workouts my fitness regime and uh, uh, i think so all these difficult situations can be tackled if you are fit true <clears throat> yeah. yeah so are you still on anti hypertension yes yes i i do take a tablet every day after my breakfast because that was started long back when my blood pressure was just out of control and i had to go on medication so i still take one tablet but after that uh, you know since very 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 long time i's been in absolutely con- absolutely in control okay so yeah she's the doctor Yeah. yeah. Thanks, thanks for asking that. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point because a lot of people feel that uh, you know I am fit, I don't need this, and then they'll say yeah. might have a lot of impact while they're exercising. So, see, uh, uh, let's not interfere with the doctor's job. Mm. Okay, so we should know where where is the scope of a fitness trainer, where is the scope of a medical professional. So let's 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 make that very clear. Yes. So if a doctor wants me to have a medicine, I am I'm going to have it. Cool. So yeah, doctor, complimenting you with a good. So, and we have question <laughs> from uh, Anju Patel. Uh, how do you would you how would you like to motivate ladies who are busy in house, joke work, and managing family workout? I I'm assuming it is house job work. only without focusing on themselves so what was yeah. the suggestion see, you have for slides see uh, exactly that's what i said you know that's what ha- how i started my story today mm-hmm. but uh, okay no matter how much work you have give that one hour to yourself it is important so even if you have 10 jobs to do and you're not you're not focusing on yourself you're not giving yourself time you know it will eventually play on you so request to all the ladies you know please give that one hour to yourself on your fitness and uh, whatever you think you know uh, what whatever makes you happy right even if you want to read a book just leave everything aside skies will not fall in one hour okay and we think that you know we are we are doing everything in the house and the the entire world is running on our us on our shoulders nothing like that you can rest for one hour you can work out for one hour you can do your own thing for one hour just believe me if you do your own thing for one hour you will be happy for the next 23 hours so you have a lot of motivation for my wife also with these videos <laughs> so she is also charged up um, <laughs> great what well, what does preferable i mean another question from anju patel what is preferable uh, in a one hour slot cardio weight training etc so she wants yes. to- it can be it can be either one or a combination of both depending upon how many days in a week you're working out that can be planned so if you either you can you know, dedicate one day uh, to cardio the other day to the strength or you can do a mix of both so it's not it's not hard and fast to that um, banner is a hell of a lot of time i think we combine both <laughs> so we have compliments uh, from harsha <clears throat> totally aligned and uh, prioritizing health thank you <laughs> so what's your life mantra and this is the last and final question for you what what's your life mantra uh my life mantra is that it is very very important to take out time for yourself 
just you know love your family love your friends and do everything for them but take out time for yourself love yourself if you love yourself you're happy within you will be happy outside you will be you will spread happiness in your family right so if you want to raise good you know happy children just give that one out to yourself <laughs> so how do you how do you uh, manage uh, you know new friends like me how would you treat them when they come home like as a mausam mein chai pakodi milegi ya mujhe matlab healthy snack bars and stuff like that so when you come to my house i'll ask you what is your fitness goal <laughs> <laughs> i'm not <laughs> so if you tell me that you're looking for a weight loss then then sorry no bhajiya for you <laughs> but yeah jokes apart once in a while it's all okay that's what i tell my clients you know uh, don't kill yourself just balance man hai to kha lo kai aur balance kar lo that's okay good so we have uh, you know another uh, life mantra uh, from dr munali she says happy lady happy family <laughs> true absolutely absolutely you know your your children don't want uh, you to sit with them for 24 hours you sit with them for 2 hours but that time should be quality time they should look up to you right they should be proud of what their mother is doing or their father is doing right it's not that they don't want the, your physical presence so if you guys you sit with your child for 10 hours and after that 8 hours you are just cribbing 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 i don't think that is good right Sit with your child for one hour, but be happy. Cool. Okay, that that finishes the questions from uh, you know the audience. So the final question, you know, what would yeah. you do to the chief minister? You have a minute to answer it. So, no prizes of guessing. Fitness, of course. <laughs> no, no. So you know, uh, what I always think is that when you become a leader. or you are on the top uh, what happens is that you uh, the the ground reality touch goes mm. you know uh, even even in even in a small company you see uh, you know you have people under you and then you know they are giving you the information and you are relied on that you know you are dependent on that you have to rely on that information no matter how capable you are how brilliant you are as a leader you as a cm or any leader right but somehow then you know you are dependent on other people's uh, information and that's not possible for you you know to go to that level and see but you know i would i, I get very inspired by this uh, the other day i was reading the story of uh, akbar and birbal you know those stories used to read so akbar used to go to you know in in the crowd and you know to his people and you know get that information you know somehow uh, in maybe you know you could still practice it you know once yeah once in a year you know the cm should go and you know speak to the people but not as a cm incognito so and you know see what the people are actually saying so i think and besides that of course the fitness awareness would be one of the agenda cool good one good one uh... so yeah so that's all but nine thanks for taking time out uh, i hope these energies and you you are like lot of wonderful stories that you have uh, uh, thank you you know we have your questions also coming in pravi ji we are coaches in fitness and uh, as well as great chefs so pem fitness team can serve you with some delicious snacks at <laughs> <eat. laughs> इंटरव्यू खत्म मन भर गया आई आई एम ड्राइविंग नाउ मोस्ट वेलकम मोस्ट वेलकम ओके या सो मतलब यहां पे यू नो वेदर शिल्पी हैज प्रॉमिस्ड और नॉट सारिका सारिका एट लीस्ट वॉलंटियर टू से दैट यस यू नो वी आर रेडी बिकॉज़ शी इज शी इज नॉट शी इज ऑन द अदर साइड ऑफ द टेबल राइट नाउ so uh, yeah one one point i mean it takes a uh, uh, lot of efforts uh, especially to get into uh, you know the industry of fitness because it is not on the 
telling things or you know dictating that ye karo wo ho jayega do this and these results will come at you know first of all you have to maintain yourself you have to maintain it throughout the industry throughout your life because you know people will be watching you and that you know even somebody is taking this up for an year and saying that i was a fitness coach and then you you don't practice that and i'm sure that is a very wrong example you're setting so once no. you take it up I, i think you have to continue this until you retire and until you know until uh, the last day so this yeah. is this is really commendable and uh, what you're working on is uh, on somebody's health which is like overall health including their mental health and all that so definitely commendable job and as a team yeah i understand the challenges in fitness it takes a lot of effort to get that commercial angle to it do sessions and uh, you know most of the time it's like free of cost and then yeah. try to get people thode lip karte hain fir they get back to their routine life how to mm-hmm. motivate so it takes a lot of efforts to do uh, some of these things so but you know awesome job it, it is always good to keep people motivated don't give up attitude thank you having, uh, having fun keep motivating people keep posting nice photographs challenge uh, you know men like me with these uh, challenges <laughs> so <laughs> yeah yeah so you should challenge i think you should uh, you know uh, roll out a challenge as your team to for men to lift the uh, 5 kilo bags or 10 kilo bags like the bahubali bag yeah. that Yeah. yeah we take we have we, we take unisex classes it's not only women in our class so yeah. so there are a lot of uh, men also in our classes and probably they're quite uh, so it's like you know initially uh, that's also one of the uh, great points you know that uh, we are even the women the women trainers as women trainers uh, we even have men clients you know because they people think that you know they can they can lift heavy and women can't lift that heavy and probably you know if we teach them some something we ha- we should be able to do it ourselves right so uh, but we have a lot of men clients and i think they are very very happy with the kind of uh, fitness regime that we are giving to them super so i i think that's all for the show i mean the nice compliment rolling again so keep up the good work i would definitely love to you know meet you as a team especially any outdoor activity which is happening uh, in a nice uh, location uh, around yeah. nature to invite me in i will be honored sure. to be part definitely definitely free our pleasure hello bye thank you thank you thank you bye bye yeah. your audience have a great weekend uh, hardly few hours left for the sunday but enjoy to the fullest Thank you all. Thank, thank you, Shilpi. Thank you, thank you all. Thank you.